This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Coming to the next topic that is dual behavior of matter. Okay, so what do you, so I have explained you about dual behavior of matter? Dual behavior of matter means the matter which exhibits the dual characters like which shows the particle pro particle type properties and wave like properties both okay so that is called dual behavior of matter this means that just as the photon has a momentum as well as the wavelength okay electron should also have the momentum as well as the wavelength d broglie from this analogy gave the following relation between the wavelength and the momentum of a material where this is means uh, like uh, photons are having both uh, momentum and also wavelength okay like uh, according to the d block d broglie the electron should also have the same uh, momentum and also wavelength so from this analogy he give the relationship between the wavelength and the photon of a material particle okay so d broglie equation is equal to lambda is equal to h divided by v where m is the mass and v is the velocity of the velocity and where this can be written as p where it is called momentum p is equal to mv okay so this is about dual behavior of matter so coming to the problem uh, what will be the wavelength of a ball of mass 0.1 kg moving with the velocity of 10 meter per second they have given mass 0.1 kg and the velocity is equal to 10 raised to meter per second they are asking the wavelength what do you mean by wavelength okay so uh, just uh, i given the de broglie equation d broglie equation in that lambda is equal to h divided by mv you know h is a planck's constant where the planck's constant is 6.6 6.6 to 6 okay into 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second okay divided by mass is given by 0 0.1 kg that is 0 0.1 kg which is multiplied by the velocity they have given velocity 10 meter per second after solving these we how much you are getting 6.626 into 10 raised to minus uh, how much by calculation 34 okay meter that is uh, joule is equal to kg meter square is raised to minus 2 so this is the answer consider the next problem they have given mass of an electron is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg if its kinetic energy is equal to 3.0 into 10 raised to minus 25 what is the wavelength so i will give the solution for this wavelength you can carry lambda is equal to h divided by mv you know now mass is you know what do you mean by v is a velocity okay how you will calculate so from by given the data kinetic energy is equal to half into m v square so where you can get they have given the kinetic energy 3.0 into 10 raised to minus 25 1 by 2 mass is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 into v square okay so after the calculation of this okay where how you will calculate the v means so v is equal to 2 into ke divide kinetic energy divided by m this is whole raised to 1 by 2 so after modification of that uh, formula where ke is equal to half into m v square okay this can be written like this so just this is 2 into 3 point 0 into 10 raised to minus 25 kg meter square kg meter square is raised to minus 2 okay so where this is 2 okay and 
the mass they have given mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg so which is whole raised to 1 by 2 okay which is whole raised to 1 by 2 so after solving this equation you are getting 8 to 12 meter per second so now you obtain v you know a lambda is if you want a lambda h h by m v okay so h is Planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second divided by mass is this is the mass so 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 34 sorry minus this is 31 okay this is minus 31 kg which is multiplied by 8 to 12 meter per second so after solving this you are getting 8 9 6 7 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter so which is equal to 896.7 into nanometer so this is the answer for this question so where the wavelength is given by 8967 consider the next problem okay so here calculate the mass of the photon with wavelength is 3.6 into 10 uh, into 3.6 amstra means what they have given here given value is 3.6 into 10 raised to where amstra is 10 raised to minus 10 meter okay so velocity of the photon is equal to velocity of the light calculate the mass what do you mean by mass so they given the wavelength lambda okay so 3.6 and this mass how you can calculate mass m is equal to h divided by lambda into v where this formula is how it comes formula is v is equal to h by mv correct sorry uh, this is uh, lambda okay where this is lambda is equal to h by m where m is uh, you want m now so here you know Planck's constant what is Planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second correct next where lambda they given 3.2 9 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter correct minus 10 meter so where uh, velocity they given you know velocity is equal to velocity of light 3 into 10 raised to 8 okay that is meter per second after solving this you are obtaining the answer as 6.135 into 10 raised to minus 20 9 kg okay this is the answer and the next is heisenberg uncertainty principle what its status it status that it is impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum of an electron okay it means uh, how what he is saying means uh, impossible to determine the simultaneously you can't uh, determine the simultaneous uh, this is consider this as a nuclear this is the orbit okay orbit means where the electrons are moving around the nucleus the path of the electron is called orbit so in this the exact position and exact momentum you can't calculate okay at simultaneously you can't calculate that is he is explaining that is it is called uncertainty principle delta x into delta v is greater than or equal to h divided by 4 pi m where delta x is uncertainty in position delta by is called uncertainty in velocity okay so this is called uncertainty principle of heisenberg uncertainty principle there is uh, some of the significance of uncertainty principle okay he is explaining the uncertain that is the heisenberg uncertainty principle okay importance of uh, heisenberg uncertainty principle is only for moving what is only for moving this is only for moving microscopic object this is applied for only for moving microscopic object this is applied to 
microscopic objects that is moving microscopic object they should be in moving position okay so example consider the following example okay now so um, de, you know delta v into delta x is equal to h divided by 4 pi m correct so delta v into delta x so uh, 4 pi value is 3.14 uh, okay into then the mass is 10 raised to minus 8 kg consider okay so where delta v into delta x is equal to h is Planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 30 4 joules second joules okay so 4 into pi value 3.141 the mass is you are writing 10 raise to minus 8 kg okay this is 10 raise to minus 8 kg after solving this you are obtaining 0 0.53 into 10 raise to minus 26 meter square per second so this is delta v into delta x okay so the thus the value of delta v and delta x is extremely small and has no significance this is very small correct very small and uh, therefore it is no significance very small and there's no significance for this so this is the significance of uncertainty principle so in that uh, it is not having when there is a one can say that when the mass of any object is one of milligram or more or less then the uncertainty in momentum or position associated with hardly of any significance so uh, it is applicable only for microscopic objects as i am explaining you so microscopic objects means consider the electrons okay which is having the mass how much 9.11 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg correct so which is having this much of okay then if you are applying delta v and delta x this formula for the electron as you have applied for this so how much you are getting means 10 raised to minus 4 for this for the electron you are getting how much here i will write 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second that is for electron by applying this formula okay so as i solve this problem if you have you have to solve this one like so therefore the statement of heisenberg uncertainty position and uh, momentum uncertainty is replaced by probability function which is seen in quantum mechanical model of atom so this is the significance of uncertainty which can be applied to only microscopic moving microscopic objects so this is very important okay see next consider the problem of answer problem based on uncertainty principle okay so here microscopic using a suitable photon is employed to locate an electron in an atom within a distance of within a distance of 0.1 amstra given the distance now with it its value distance mean delta x value what is the uncertainty involved in the measurement of its velocity so just you have to apply the formula for this delta x into delta v is equal to h divided by mv this can be written as delta x keep it as it is okay so where m is moved here means okay uh, the, the sorry this is not okay wait huh. so uh, see here h divided by 4 pi m okay where m is moved here means this can be written as delta x into delta v into m is equal to h divided by 4 pi so this can be written like delta p correct so delta x into delta p is equal to h divided by 4 pi you know the value of delta x now h and you know 4 pi value is no so just substitute here delta x okay delta x 
is equal to h divided by 4 pi into delta you want delta v value they are asking delta v so delta x uh, 4 pi delta x into m correct so applying this Planck's constant is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 correct divided by 4 into pi value substitute 3.14 okay uh, then uh, what is the delta x value they have given 0.1 amstrom means 10 raised to minus 10 meter into the value of ma mass is 9.11 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg correct so after solving this how much you are getting 0 0.579 into 10 raised to 7 meter per second okay so this can be written as 5.79 into 10 raised to 6 meter per second where 1 joule is equal so this is 1 joule is equal to 1 kg meter square minus 2 okay so this is the equation and the next one is uh, next one is also a problem a golf ball has a mass of 40 kg and speed of 45 meter per second if the speed can be measured within accuracy of 2% calculate the uncertainty in the position so uncertainty the uncertainty okay in the speed the uncertainty in the speed is the given 2% Okay, that is 45 into 2 divided by 100 how much you are getting 0 0.9 meter per second okay so using this using the equation as I derived earlier delta x is equal to h divided by what is that 4 pi into m into delta v now so applying the h value you know 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 okay divided by 4 into pi 3.14 mass is you know they have given the mass how much mass they have given 40 gram they have given so which is multiplied into 40 gram into 10 raised to where minus 3 v is 10 raised to minus 3 kg per gram sorry so this is 40 gram okay uh, this is the mass into where the delta v value is 0 0.9 into meter square so after this if you are calculating how much you are getting means 1.46 into 10 raised to minus 33 meter so this is the answer okay